So I'm at this house. They had a lateral line leak in the backyard directly after the control valve, the threads going into the control valve. So I had to cut that valve out. When I got here, I obviously did my ohms test to begin with, just with my multimeter. That way I didn't have to fire anything at all and everything was working. This controller or this system has a master valve. However, when I went to the back, I didn't turn the water off. I started cutting into the main line and water started to come out the pipe. I went to the front yard, looked at the water meter to confirm that we were using water and we were, we were using like 0.48 gallons per minute. So at that point I knew that the master valve had failed. Something was wrong with it, it needed to be rebuilt because it was allowing water to pass through. So I finished my repair in the back, I'm still waiting for it to dry. So I can't turn the water on yet to figure out where my master valve is. So at the controller, my master valve is a black wire. Now I didn't wire locate, what I did was I just made an assumption. I just went over to the water meter, I then located the backflow prevention device, and right after the backflow, right here, was my first control valve. But when I dug it up, keep in mind that the controller, the, co uh, the, the master valve was black, over here, the master valve is red. So how do you figure out if this is the master valve? Well, you just use this guy. Now there are different versions of this, but this is what you do. You take your red wire and you connect it to the wire that you're trying to identify. So I've connected it to the red wire. Then I take my black lead and I connect it to the ground. So what I've done is I've just taken my extension drill bit, knocked it into the ground, attached it. Now I'm gonna move this top switch over to the send tone position. That's now on, you don't hear anything. That's when you then grab this guy. It has a volume button on the side so you can adjust it. When you press this button in the middle, it's gonna make a tone. You can hear that? It's now tracing that wire. If there was a break or if there wasn't continuity or anything, this tone would be extremely muffled. But the fact that it's really loud means that from here to the controller, it works. I'm now back at the controller. I'm gonna use this guy again. Go across all of the wires. And there we go. Right on the black wire. What I thought was the master valve, but keep in mind, wiring the colors are not always gonna be the same. So the black master valve wire here ended up being the red master valve wire over there. And the easiest way to figure it out is one of these guys. So the Pro 48 um, and then the Pro 210F. This guy, so many techs just either lose it or they have no idea how to use it. This thing is worth its weight in gold. I use this so often. I don't use it at every service call, but when I do use it, oh my God, it saves me so much time.